So, hello everyone, welcome to the Small Episode 11. Coming to the final right, of course, the anime won't end next episode. I mean, it ends with the anime, but I'm sure the story that keeps going, right? Because they're not going to reach humans yet, though. Um, but yeah, big betrayal, right? Evie Obasan, yeah. I mean, I'm freaking called it, right? I called the wolf guy, it's going to be nice. I was like, look at this wolf man, it's clearly a nice bird. You know, it's like a rough exterior, right? Good heart deep down. It was clear to me, and then of course, this woman instead that looked nice and cuddly, of course it's evil, right? I think, I, I, I don't know, but that is almost like how so many enemies are, they're like almost more formulatic that, you know, someone is the reverse, right? The subversion of how they look, that's like the biggest trope, at least like today, <laughs> probably. I would say so, yeah. We're, you know, if you have, uh, oh, what is it called? Oh my God, uh, what's your, uh, I can't remember the name, sorry. But of course, in one of my absolute favorite anime, Sayonara Setsuba Sensei, right? You know, Despair Sensei. Uh, he has a student, right? That is really, really mean. And yeah, she's really evil, right? And she looks really, really mean. And the joke about her is that she is exactly what she looks like. And she's pure evil, yeah. She's a mean spirit that is a bastard gaki, yeah. And everyone hates her. And, and but, but they're trying to defend her. Like, oh no, she used, looks mean spirited. But she's actually it's a good. Oh, no, she's not such a mean bitch, yeah. Like, I mean, you know, you, you know, like, yeah. I feel when I watch most animes, right, that is, you know, not how it is, right, yeah. And I guess that anime, they are parody joking about that she actually is exactly how mean she looks, right. Uh, so again, yeah, when I saw, you know, Mr. Wolf, I was like, he, he is clearly going to be super nice. He looks so evil, he's like one eye, muscular, crossbow, he's going to be a nice person. <laughs> he's going to be a sweet heart. Yeah, I was like, man, look at this guy, he's such a nice person, yeah. I was sure on it, right? I was sure on it, and I was right. Where, uh, of course, the evil Obasa was. She was really evil. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's start watching it. So, three, two, one, and go. But yeah, but I feel it's like this version. So, I have new headphones down here, uh, and it's really loud now. I feel it's more. They're new. They're not super costly, but they're new. Um, definitely gives better sound effect. It, it does. It does. This better surround in my ears, yeah. Maybe it leaks out, I don't know, but it's, it's def it feels louder, even though I have a low volume here. Uh, but I think it's better to use kind of like the, the ambient, it's probably better. And they are, they are pretty thicker, yeah, they feel thicker in my ears, so. But this is, she's is super even, right? Nah, oh yes, how nice, will you protect me, boys? Yeah, and of course, trying to probably, you know, um, you know, be a decoy here, or, you know, delay them to get home, whatever. Yeah, or try to figure out stuff with someone. Yeah, you know, she's pure evil. Oh, you're departing tomorrow. Better kill your daughter today then. Yeah, better eat your kid today then. Yeah. Okay. Or figure out how they're gonna travel. Oh, you're traveling west? I see. Which path taking? Yeah. What road are you taking? West. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. What path are you gonna take when you travel west? Yeah, poor little Somali. Man, this woman is so evil. She's so pure evil. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, oh. we don't want to hurt the girl, right? Yeah, like, man, she's evil. Yeah. Um, but she's clearly fishing for it. Yeah, she's trying to figure out, you know, like, okay, what path are traveling, when, what day are traveling, and so on. Yeah. And an ambush. She's obviously planning an ambush right, with her evil uh, men and so on. I was thinking one thing, though, which I thought was a little strange last episode, honestly. And that is that. When we saw Somali's backstory, this, you know, I found you dead, this sort of sad backstory. Why did, uh, I would say, Somali was in this, you know, slave cave, right? Yeah, slave uh, trade thing. And they had, I guess, many eating, but I had slaves. Uh, but there were so many of them. Yeah, that's a little weird. It anyway, almost comes off as Somali, like the last human alive. But in that scene, it's like, oh, they actually have, like, a lot of humans. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, what? It's actually, it's like, well, maybe not, but kind of, yeah. Because it was like six or seven more humans in that, uh, in that cart, right? Yeah. So it's, it's strange how they can't find any humans. I'm just saying, right? it's a little strange, in my opinion. In my humble opinion, it's a little strange. Lay down the willow. Lay Opening order. Evil lady planning ambush. I mean, I guess so, right? Ambush time, yeah. It might be hard to ambush when it's snow, though. Usually, it's, it depends on the terrain, but 
it could be much harder to ambush someone in the snow. It's harder to escape them, but it's also harder to sneak up on someone with all the sound and it's you, you can't take every path and so on. Because that in that sense, ambushing during winter time is easier because there's less path the enemies can take, right? Or whatever and with ambushing. But it's also harder to get, you know, a backstab on them, yeah. So kinda but they hopefully of course Somalia will be fine here. It feels pretty sick though that obviously the evil old lady taught taught them how to do this stuff, yeah. That this braiding sky skill is from the evil Obasan, yeah. They might attack now though when before they get home, because she knows they're gonna leave tomorrow, right? But I think they're gonna ambush them when they're, when they're patterning. Because she was interested in of course knowing how they're gonna travel, right? But Ooh, like a super cute little uh, winter dress for Somalia, yeah, that's super cute. At least pretty cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I should buy it. No! <laughs> He's staring at the Viking outfit, of course he is. Like, yeah, with the, with the, with the classic old school barbarian Viking clothing. Yeah, with the. With the <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, oh. Oh, best daddy ever. He's such a good father, yeah. I love him. I love him so much. Look at that outfit. Maybe Somali wants it. A big <laughs> Viking outfit. What a great protective armor for a kid, yeah. We should buy it. <laughs> oh, what protective daddy, yeah. I'm gonna fit, you know, the, the Minotaur horns, yeah. Etlo the braid. For daddy! We really learn compassion. I don't know, it's like Terminator, right? Can the kid teach the daddy to love? Yeah. Man, it's just a cute anime. At the same time, it's so horrible because it's not it's like a. I bought this for you. Oh my god, he's like, I'm, I'm a failure as a parent, I didn't make it myself, yeah, it's like, it's not as, <laughs> like, for like the water, but he bought it, so it's not as, uh, it is not as, uh, yeah, it fit perfectly, now we're a match, god damn it, this anime, it's just freaking best daughter, it's gonna be better than Ansu, I don't know, Ansu is still the best daughter for me though, but yeah, Somali is number two, definitely, getting up there, yeah. Um, daddy! But yeah. God damn it. I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm just, just the nose of this old evil lady. It's like, <laughs> you know, just the nose of this, yeah, old evil hag. That's like, <laughs> that's right. Gonna get your daughter. Yeah, like, you know. It's just, um, yeah. Yeah. God damn it, yeah. The old evil lady, right? She's ruining the whole story. I mean, you know she's gonna come in and be all evil, yeah. And they're having this like nice winter party time, you know, yeah. Like, it's friendship and, you know, daughter and daddy moments, and it's super cute, and yeah. And then soon the old lady's like, hey, let's eat the kids or something, yeah, come on, ugh. Not, of course, a good daughter also was, of course, uh, La Latina, yeah. Daylu! <laughs> That's a good anime, too. Daylu! Well, I think those are pretty good, actually. Is, uh, well, I don't know, but Usa made, yeah. He has a pretty good daughter, right, to her, to her father. To some degree, even though she kind of is angry. But, I mean, she her maid is crazy, so she's right, yeah. The father is the fool that hires the weird, you know, Us yeah, the maid. Don't make me say the word, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. She's crazy, right? And mostly the daughter is correct. She's like, yeah. She's like, save me, daddy. Yeah, she's insane. <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah. But yeah, now it's all like, you know, being snowman. And it's all like super, yeah, family, wholesome, family friendly here. <laughs> it's like, make daddy's face, yeah. Make, make that golem, golem snowman. I mean, he's built, they're both built, right? Maybe like a frozen can get a life. And it can be like, you know, daddy's brother. Yeah, a snowman. Get put his mind into the new snowman daddy, but he won't be able to leave the cold country then, that's pretty bad, but still. Um, that's crazy frozen too. She creates sentient life. Oh my god, oh my god, this is so damn adorable! And I just waiting for her to be hurt, right? God damn it, this is so damn adorable. 
when you were waiting for her to be damaged, you know. Mm. And I mean damage, like little damage, like they're probably gonna like, you know, hurt her, you know, maybe, you know, like shoot her in the arm or, you know, flesh wound. Uh, Hidden might come now then, because they know he's gonna leave tomorrow, okay, so they got gonna... Yeah. But can they fight the golem though? Because golem dad is, he's strong though, yeah. He's obviously dying from his like old age thing, but otherwise, you know, Golem Dad is a fighter, right? His powers, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's powerful, so um, I don't know if you need to fight him. Like, can they defeat him? I mean, it's yeah. yeah I know we have human. Uh, obviously, Dad, but obviously that girl's human. Have you noticed that? <laughs> it's like, huh? This kid? Wait a minute, yeah, it makes sense now. <laughs> I hope he's like, oh yeah, that's... Tomodashi, there we go. I will die for my friend. <gasps> Shizuno! He's like, yeah, it's my friend too, right? <laughs> Come on, he can't say no. And I was like, I mean, you're also my friend. You like my sweets? <laughs> you like my candy? The good girl? Oh. You my friend. <laughs> yeah. That's what his friendship is. That's his friendship. Yeah, he's like, you like my I wanna eat candy together, yeah. It's like Exactly, he's like, you like my candy, be best friends. <laughs> it's an easy trait for him to be best friends, yeah. But I feel like that he could beat them, I don't know. Okay, he's gonna I guess decoy them here, yeah. <laughs> want some tea? Yeah, she's a really good fighter too, though. He's a really good fighter too. Maybe he can defeat them once. I feel like he could defeat them. Him and whole him and Golem Dad, they could beat them up instead. I don't know why they're running away that much. Yeah. Man, yeah. Exactly. Someone is probably gonna follow him, right? Yeah, or you know, for some reason. <laughs> I was thinking about he probably has the human, but now they're gonna follow him because he's facing the human. <laughs> would it not be what I would guess if I were them, but okay, fine. I, yeah, yeah, okay. Wouldn't be my first guess, guys, but sure, sure. That also is a reasonable, I guess, to some degree to believe in, yeah. He'd be fine. <laughs> He's a great fighter. We felt like he always defeat them instead. He was a bit of after that. But the old lady might expect this though. She's like a tricky old bastard, yeah. Freaking, you know, Ubaba that knows shit, yeah. And Miss Good Sweet, it's a pretty awesome everything. And you're funny and fun. Damn it! So stop being so wholesome, Samar. Stop being friendshipy, yeah. Samar is all like, you my best friends. I love you guys. Like, damn it! Yeah. She was like, God damn it, she's too nice. <laughs> no, I have to die for her. <laughs> yeah, it's like, man, the death flags are so massive for Shizuno now, yeah. The death flags are so massive for Shizuno because, yeah, so I was like, you're my best friend, I love you, you know, it's all like, you know, yeah, come on, let's go. Yeah, he's like, like he's death, his death flag is massive now. Come on, the death flag, this is so massive. Stop being so damn nice from all, it's all stop death flagging them. Man, I, th I feel he might die, yeah. Maybe Daddy will die. Uh, not now. But he's, I feel it's too early for the story after him to die. Here we go, though. Yeah, so he's probably gonna stop, you know, she's, she's, yeah, not, not Daddy, but... Yeah. He's probably gonna stop here in the fight. And the different hunters, okay, there's more than one. Uh, okay, uh, makes sense, though, there actually would be more than one hunter, so... Given the storyline here, yeah. Actually, isn't that unreasonable at all? Actually, yeah. But I guess she really sold them out, right, to the whole city, basically. Yeah, these are definitely all the lizard guys. So I don't know why all want to eat human too. Yeah, they're like, yeah, human meat. <laughs> I don't know why they're also into the human meat though. Delicacy. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I think Golem Dad is, you know, he's very strong. Yeah, he's physically, he's physically very, very strong. So, and he has wings and shit. Yeah, he can't, he can't use like defeat them. Is that? I mean, I mean, easy if he just defeats them. Yeah, he just defeats the hunters. Unfortunately, he's old and you know, yeah. But yeah, now he can fly. Kakui daddy! There you go, daddy! <laughs> You're so cool, daddy! Yeah. Unfortunately, his body is obviously gonna decay from this, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's old, right? Unfortunately, he's really old. So, yeah. Definitely is a big weapon, you know, with this anime, right? Because you know that dad is gonna die eventually, he's from old age, so. But yeah, he's defeated them all. <laughs> he's a badass fighter. He's like, whatever. That's my friend. Yeah. He called him more like small fry, though, yeah. Ah, whatever. Hmm. Not a bad sign, yeah. My shoe got de damaged. I defeated them all, but my shoe got damaged. <laughs> it's like, bad sign. <laughs> yeah, my shoe had minor damage. Inconvenience, yeah. But I feel that like the old lady is gonna wait for them on the exit. Yeah, like the old lady, she's like, you know, can I bring old hag, right? She, she probably figured out what path to take beforehand and waiting with her main guys. Exactly, she's gonna stay with her main guys. Yeah, this is yeah, yeah. Arra, arra, evil arra, arra. Yeah, not like it. Clearly, auntie is gonna betray them. Yeah, but she, she wants the money herself, right? She sold out the information, and then she wants, to, but she also wants the good strategy. She's like, hey. hey, hey. This is best for me, yeah, I got everything from this, yeah. Oh man, she's so disgusting. She's so evil, yeah. She's so pure evil. Crazy pure evil old lady, yeah. Korreva, korreva. Oh yeah, he's betrayal. I mean, she wants the money herself or the food, whatever. She's clearly super evil, yeah, but... Man, she's so damn evil, yeah! It's like Tucker level of evil, yeah, almost, it's not all kid, I guess. Yeah, it's like freaking, you know, all anime betrayal, yeah. Look at her face, she's clearly evil, look at tits, yeah. He's so goddamn evil, all the time. She is the hunter, she's the main hunter, she's the main hunter, yeah, come on. Like, I can destroy easily. Yeah, but, uh, but he will die faster, right? So it's a problem that the daddy port will die affordably if he fights more, right? And then he has to leave Somali, yeah. Like his lifespan is of course being reduced the more he fights, so... And an actual Minotaur, I guess, yeah. Ugh. Oh, it's like, humans killed my mom or something. I guess it's time to be like, yeah, I hate humans because you're evil. It's gonna be something like that, right? How she explaining why she hates humans now. Probably. Probably, yeah. Yeah, it's like before when I was a young little girl, you know, humans uh, were, uh, you know, I, I didn't know how evil humans were or something. And they blamed my mom or something. Come on, it's gonna be like her... Her motivation to uh, eat humans is like, yeah, they deserve it because they killed my mama. Probably. Yeah, so this like baboon guy or something. This is the hair, the color scheme. Yeah, he saved the little human kid. Then the ate him or something. He's gonna get revenge for this right here, yeah. That'd be my guess. Yeah, but they shot him anyway. Exactly, because they're humans, humans are evil, yeah. Exactly, obvious, damn humans. Yeah, and Delta, come on, that's that. Uh, they always kill them, yeah. See, everything is the humans' fault, always right, yeah. Goddamn humans, yeah. But she's super cruel now, too, so I don't know, yeah. She hasn't learned much, like, yeah, I will be cruel too, damn humans. Yeah. 
how did human lose the war? I understand how the human lost because they were like in all the backstories, humans were like Yeah, but in the backstory the humans were super bad and they were killing all the monsters easily. Like with weapons source. I don't know how they lost the war eventually because they were like, I don't know, they they enjoyed it, right? Yeah. Yeah, but they really hate humans, yeah. But it's kind of strange, though, honestly, that the humans are like the only. I think one thing is lacking is that the other species should fight also each other. It's one thing that the whole head humans is fine, but I feel that these people should also fight each other. Like the lizard people change the beastmen, yeah. I think that's the only thing that's lacking, yeah. It's some kind of horrible eat humans something, yeah. Yeah. So why aren't like the you know the Lewis there fighting the behemoth there? Yeah, that is. I don't get that make. Because why wouldn't you know they also have their own groups, right, of different species? But can they eat you? We saw him eating the bird, and maybe it's all a lie. Maybe humans are nice actually, because we saw him eating the human. Yeah, I don't know. This is true, right? Because we saw him eating the bird mama, and that didn't work out. He, yeah, they could crush from that, so. It's about avoiding even humans, right? Yeah, because humans. Yeah, monsters. Yeah. But it feels like a lie, though, given that they can't eat monsters we'll see early. They can't eat grotesque guys. Probably not, at least. They seem to have eaten humans before, though. It's like, yeah, the brain, that's the best part. How do we know that? Yeah, so it's a little weird how they can't find humans, because they seem to be pretty, you know, juicy eating humans, right? Yeah. And she likes liver. How does she know this? I mean, she's old, I guess. She's actually like 200 years old, I guess. So she's like, yeah, that's true. That flag for this guy is massive. Yeah, that flag for Shizuno is like so high, right? So his death flag is a massive death flag. I hope he survives. Like, it's a cute little best friend they have. Yeah, come on. You can't kill freaking Shizuno. Yeah, but I think daddy can defeat. Oh, dad's going like hentai. It's like, oh, ten real daddy. Oh, yeah. He's like, come on, let's fight. And it breaks the braid. He's gonna like really fight it now, but he's gonna die from this though. What happened? Okay, or did he like lifespan end? Probably not though, but he's like, I guess his, his arm broke there. Yeah, he's too old for this. He's too old to fight now. Yeah, that is too old to fight, right? Yeah. He's too old, yeah. He couldn't go like, uh, man, this is like one effing cliffhanger for next week, yeah. That's one cliffhanger, yeah. She gets kidnapped and... He's, he might not be... He's, yeah, but he's, he has energy left, though. He might go to, like, Super Saiyan form. He's, like, he's getting pissed off. He might go stronger, right? I think he might discover something extra powerful here. Makes him even more... Yeah, he's like, he's going... Yeah, he's going... He's going Super Saiyan form. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Daddy. He's gonna discover his emotions, maybe. Like he's maybe he gets the emotions. Right. Maybe he's going so angry now that he gets emotions right. Yeah, maybe daddy discovers how to be a you know a human right, and that yeah, his core is. He must be of metal in Superman. Yeah, I feel he's gonna discover this red. Yeah, I feel daddy discovering emotions. I think that is what's happening. Right? I think he. I think by breaking his body there, he you know he lost the logical the computer stuff. And how he's like, I'm a human too now, so he's gonna go pretty age though, yeah. He pissed off daddy too much, yeah. Man, what a cliffhanger though. But it looks like he's gonna be fine though, because always daddy is going. Yeah, daddy is going maximum power there. So, um, she's probably fine though. Probably, hopefully. What an episode, though. Uh, you mean, this is a, this anime, though. You know how this anime is, guys. You know how this anime is, guys. It's, it's always like, 
he goes from this like, oh, look at me, daddy, daddy and daughter, super cute together, woo, you know, wholesome family. He goes from that wholesome family like, that you know it's going to be this tragic betrayal, right? And it's like, yeah, top 10 anime betrayal. You know it's going to be this, you know, you know, you know how this anime is, right? Yeah, so it definitely is for this, how this anime works, right? Yeah, it's going to be a see later where it's like, betrayal, yeah, it's like. You little human, yeah, you know, you know, so it's very like back and forth, right, between, yeah, super cute moments, it's a super even moments, right, yeah, it's um, definitely an anime around that, thing. yeah, yeah, definitely, there's so many people though, yeah. Yeah, and daddy goes uh, super angry. But I feel like daddy, you know, he discovered emotions there, yeah, he's like, you don't touch my daughter, right, yeah. It's a lot like that in the last scene there. It really is like he, he, you know, figured out how to be, you know. I think so, I think that's my honest opinion, yeah, I think he's, I think he, by breaking his body so much, he might lose the, you know, his control, right, he might lose the, you know, the AI, so to speak, so he's like, you know, you know, yeah, emotions, he's red, right, the eye turned red. So I think he got emotions at the end there, I think daddy got emotions. Um, he's gonna go really crazy now, of course. Save his daughter, yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a big cliffhanger next week, then. He might die in the next episode, then. Yeah, he might die in the end, right? Like, he's gonna fight, and maybe. Uh, I mean, my hope, as I said earlier, is that he's gonna be. He's gonna find humans, and humans can somehow save him. If it's the most reasonable that humans, as humans are more, you know, tech savvy, usually, right? They will be able to. Uh, repair a golem, or maybe even they beat the golems to begin with, right? Maybe the humans beat the golems, yeah. I feel that's like, you know, a wish sort of humans big, yeah. I feel that's like the biggest, uh, I think that's the li most likely uh, event for him to survive, in my opinion, is that the humans will save him, yeah. I think so. So I think he might be fine in the end of the anime, probably. Maybe. But yeah, like his lifespan, I don't know. But you saw that red core though. Like maybe if it, maybe if his body is destroyed, but Somali takes the red core, she can later on rebuild him in a new body, right? Yeah, that kind of like that's like his like you know main frame, right? That kind of his body, his soul, right? So maybe if you take that red body, the red soul thing, he might be able to save that his soul, right? Like that that his soul, right? So I think dude, that that definitely like, take the red thing, put another body, and he can be fine. I like think snowman, yeah, the snowman thing, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Probably. But anyways, yeah, yeah. See you guys. Okay, uh, idol show coming up soon. Uh, Separate episode, episode one, and uh, of course tomorrow we have like One Piece and uh, Smash Around by somebody else. Separate. Have a have a great day. Yeah, see you soon with idol show.